Hello friends, I am Tulsi Ram Shinde and today I will discuss numerical related with economic low dispatch especially economic dispatch neglecting losses in that we will neglect transmission losses uh, in that I will discuss uh, how to find the uh, economic load setting between two or more generators so let's start Okay, first question is a constant load of 300 megawatt is supplied by two 200 megawatt generators 1 and 2 for which the respective incremental fuel costs are DC1 divided by DP1 equal to 0.1 P1 plus 20 and DC2 divided by DP2 equal to 0.12 P2 plus 15 with power P in megawatt and C in rupees per hour and they ask determine first the most economical division of the load between generators and second the saving in rupees per day obtained comparing to equal load sharing see the question constant load of 300 megawatt is supplied by two 200 megawatt generators and incremental fuel costs are dc1 divided by dp1 equal to 0.1 p1 plus 20 for generator 1 and dc2 divided by dp2 equal to 0.12 p2 plus 15 and this is for generator 2 right and power p in megawatt and c in rupees per hour so uh, let's start to find the most economical division of load between generators and then the saving in rupees per day obtained comparing to equal load sharing okay okay load is given load equal to 300 megawatt and transmission losses are not given so this is the simple question if transmission losses is given then we use another method okay load equal to 300 megawatt is p1 plus p2 equal to 300 megawatt okay p1 is power generated by generator 1 and p2 is power generated by generator 2 and another thing given is dc1 divided by d P1 and DC2 divided by DP2. Okay, C is the fuel cost. In some book, uh, fuel cost is uh, denoted by F. So don't get confused. And uh, DC1 by DP1 equal to 0.1 P1 plus 20. It is given. And DC2 divided by DP2 equal to 0.12 P2 plus 15 but to find the most economical load division we should know the condition for optimum operation right and condition for optimum operation is dc1 divided by dp1 equal to dc2 divided by dp2 but when if transmission losses are not given okay now put the value of dc1 by dp1 and dc2 by dp2 in the condition for optimum operation okay so it will become 0.1 p1 plus 20 equal to 0.12 p2 plus 15 take p1 in the left hand side p1 and p2 in the left hand side so 0.1 p1 minus 0 0.12 p2 equal to 15 minus 20 means minus 5 okay this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 solve equation 1 and 2 we will get p1 equal to 140.9 megawatt and p2 equal to 159.09 megawatt hence we solve the first part of question this is the most economical load division between generator 1 and generator 2 ok so P1 equal to 140.9 megawatt and 
P2 equal to 159.09 megawatt. Okay. Now start the second part. In second part, they ask to find the saving, right? Yes. What is the saving? Saving of rupees per day obtained compared to equal load sharing. To find the saving, we should know fuel cost after using the economical load division and after using the equal load division. Total load is 300 megawatt. If you use equal load division, then P1 equal to 150 megawatt and p2 equal to 150 megawatt okay p1 equal to 150 because equal load division 300 divided by 2 150 this is the equal load division and this is the economical load division and they asked to find the saving after using the economical load division okay but fuel cost is not given directly but uh, d C1 divided by DP1 and DC2 divided by DP2 is given. Okay. It is equal to DC1 divided by DP1 equal to 0 0.1 P1 plus 20. It is equal to 0 0.12 P2 plus 15. I want C1 and C2. C1 is a fuel cost for generator 1 and C2 is fuel cost for generator 2. I will integrate on the both side with respect to P. So C1 equal to 0 0.1 is constant and integration of P1 with respect to P1 it is equal to P1 square divided by P plus integration of 20 is 20 p1 similarly c2 equal to 0 0.12 p2 square divided by 2 plus 15 p2 and total fuel cost c equal to c1 plus c2 right this is the equation 3 and this is the equation 4 put the value of economical load division in equation 3 and equation 4 and find the total fuel cost if we put the p1 equal to 140.9 and p2 equal to 159.09 then we will get c equal to seven seven one five point Five six rupees per hour. Rupees per hour. Now, if you use equal load division, put the value of P one and P two in equation three and four, and then find C. Then we will get C equal to seven seven two five rupees per hours. Okay. So see the fuel cost. If you use the economical load division, then you will get less fuel cost. And if you use the equal load uh, division, then you will get more fuel cost. So saving equal to saving equal to this minus no sorry this minus this seven seven two five minus seven seven one five point five six which is equal to nine point four three rupees per hour this is the saving for one hour but in question they ask saving for one day so saving for one day is equal to nine point four three multiply by 24 it is equal to 226 rupees per day right this is the entire solution of
question. Okay, this is the question for you. I will give you a hint. See the question. The fuel cost of two units are given by F1 equal to C1 equal to 100 plus 2P1 plus 0 0.05P1 square rupees per hour and F2 equal to C2 equal to 200 plus 2P2 plus 0 0.01P2 square rupees per hour. You can denote uh, fuel cost by using F or C. And uh, P1 and uh, P2 are in megawatt. The plant supplies load of 450 megawatt. Find the economical load shedding of two units and incremental fuel cost. Neglect transmission losses. They directly mention neglect transmission losses and find economic load shedding and incremental fuel cost. If uh, there is no any transmission losses, then we know the condition for economical load shedding is there incremental fuel cost dc1 divided by dp1 and dc2 divided by dp2 this is the incremental fuel cost and this should be equal for the economical load shedding now i will find dc1 divided by dp1 if suppose this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 okay so take a derivative of equation 1 with respect to P1. I will take a derivative with respect to P1 on the both side. So I will get dc1 divided by dp1. It will become 100 is constant. So derivative of 100 is 0 plus 2p1. Derivative of 2p1 is equal to 2 and derivative of 0 0.05 p1 square is equal to 0 0.005. It is constant and derivative of p1 square is 2p1. So constant is 2 multiply by 0 0.005 it will become 0 0.01 p1 ok and now dc2 divided by dp2 equal to take a derivative of equation 2 with respect to p2 on the both side dc2 divided by dp2 equal to 200 is constant so derivative of 200 is 0 plus 2p2 derivative of 2p2 is 2 with respect to p2 plus 0 0.01 is constant and derivative of p2 square is 2p2 so it will become 0.02p2 right if suppose this is the equation 3 and this is equation 4 put equation 3 and 4 in the condition for optimum operation then we will get uh, I will take P1 and P2 on the left hand side so 0 0.01 P1 minus 0 0.02 P2 equal to 0 this is the equation 5 and we know the load is 450 so P1 plus P2 equal to 450 this is the equation 6 solve equation 5 and 6 we will get value of p1 and p2 p1 and p2 p1 will be power generated by generator 1 or unit 1 and p2 will be power generated by unit 2 it is the economical load sharing and they ask find incremental fuel cost so we know incremental fuel cost for generator 1 is dc1 divided by dp1 and for generator 2 dc2 divided by dp2 so put the value of p1 and p2 in equation 3 and 4 we will get incremental fuel cost so find the value and uh, uh, send the answer in comment box